Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video of my Dollar Tree and Walmart hauls for arts and crafts supplies. Now that I've retired um, and I have like lots of time, well not lots and lots of time, but uh, I have time to make my arts and crafts again. So I thought I'd start making my arts and crafts and start selling them. And of course, you know, giving them away for gifts and whatnot. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you what I bought. So I got some yarn. It was a dollar. I got blue. I got the purple. I hope you guys can see with this light because it's like a little cloudy outside. Um, and I'm literally standing under my kitchen light. So if uh, you can't see it, I apologize. And like white. These are going to be for the embellishments. Um... For the uh, crocheted items that I'm going to be making. Uh, this isn't um, an arts and crafts project. These are just spoons, forks, and knives. The heavy duty kind. And the reason I bought these because I was out of mine. Because, uh, let me tell you. If you use plastic utensils when you use like, like with cheese or something. Like let's say you're making um, English muffin little pizzas and... So the cheese doesn't stick to your silverware or you've made macaroni and cheese, you know, it, it doesn't stick. So that's why I got those. Big explanation for one little product. And I got three sets, three different sets of paint brushes. I got some paint here. If you can see that color. I don't know what color it is probably do it probably says but I don't know dollar never tried that brand before I got close pins because I'm going to be making a lot of close pin magnets and I got a mini mouse can you see her I'm going to be making some snow globes as well uh, I got everybody's favorite, Spongebob. He's going to be a snow globe. They didn't have any snow globe at uh, Dollar Tree. So um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to use jars and stuff like that from stuff around the house. Because that's the whole point of making homemade snow globes. Um, And I was going to do wine glass ones, but I'm not going to do those yet. But the wine glass snow globes are going to be waterless. I got paper clips. Now, paper clips, I like to take paper clips and use them for hangers on uh, wall hangings and stuff like that. Instead of using, like, wire and fooling around and shaping them, you know, getting them exactly right. I'm telling you, paper clips will last. You use paper clips and you can paint them according to whatever you're hanging and sometimes you don't even have to paint them and then you can hang your stuff securely I don't use that paper clips with, with a lot of tacks for little stuff that doesn't need a nail so then I got some little stones little little stones um, these I got I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with them I said, you know, I could have just went out in my driveway and got little stones. <laughs> oh, JK. Anyway, I bought those. I mean, come on, they were a dollar. I'm thinking of some kind of coastal thing, you know, sea, you know, beachy typey thing. Because I do have um, shells and stuff like that. Because you know, um, I have a ton of crafts around here, but I needed more stuff. And I got baby oil because I couldn't find vegetable glycerin. Uh, this is going to be for the snow globes because apparently you put that in so that your um, glitter and stuff sinks slower. So I got that. And then I got a couple, di a couple different kinds of glue. I'm going to make sure everything... I Oops. I'm just knocking everything over, guys. Uh, different kinds of glue. I just want to make... Uh, this is super glue. Uh, I just want to make sure that everything I make stays together. I sometimes use the glue gun. It doesn't always. I got this liquid adhesive. It's supposed to stick to anything. 
Um, I got these finger protectors for when using the glue gun. I burn my fingers a lot on the glue gun. And glue sticks. I also got some more glue sticks at Walmart so I wasn't taking any chances. And I got... ribbon. These are mostly going to be for the snow globes, but I'll use it for other stuff. I really didn't know what kind to get because I, you know, I really don't know uh, exactly what I'm doing with the snow globes yet. And then I got this. This is vinyl. Oh, let's turn it around. Vinyl top liner. Okay. I bought um, a roll of this stuff at uh, Walmart before for a different project. I don't know if you can see the see the rose pattern on there it's like a little antique -y. okay um i bought some like kind of i'll show you when i get to the other the walmart haul um i got this because i was thinking of doing i don't know if i'm doing i might do a kitchen hanging see a kitchen hanging picture with that paint this and put that in there and and this one I got let's see if you can see the there there we go this one I got for um something I already did I painted um a shelving it's like four or five shelves and I don't want the paint to get ruined and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna this probably I probably don't even have to cut the length is probably right and I'm just going to make like little placemat type of thing, like little doilies and just set it on there. I'm not going to glue it on in case I want to change them. But I want to protect the paint, you know what I'm saying? So I got those. Those are for me. And I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. But I still have to show you the, I have to put everything up on the table for the Walmart. Oh. Well, So, I got all these nail polishes. As you can see, I got a bunch of... Oh, these aren't nail polish. These are glitter. Pink glitter. Blue glitter. I still have some other glitter in my stuff. And some gold glitter. Those are most likely going to just be for um, snow globes. Then I got a bunch of nail polish because I like to paint things with nail polish. So, I got this color. Um, I got two of these silvers. These and those. I need one. I bought two of those because I want to. I got to touch up some dings on my car. Yes, nail polish does work and stays. Green. Pinky. Like a hot pinky. No, I think this is a more of a fuchsia color. And then a hot pinky color. And. Oh, like a, like a pearl green. Can you see that? Oh, there we go. All right. And like a lilac, lilac, lilac color. Lilacs are my favorite flowers, by the way, guys. Purple, glittery purple, and clear, because I'll need clear. And I got, oh my goodness, like the, the amount of stickers and, and oh, all kind of decoration stuff. Mm, it's so hard to choose. So I got these stickers. Laugh, believe, dream, love, inspire, cherish, and hope. I'm probably going to put those on my um, ah, clothespin magnets for the refrigerator. Because I'm going to be making a lot of them. And I got blue. These are self-adhesive, guys. Self-sticking, but I don't trust them, so I'll be using glue. Green. Red hearts. This is a uh, jewel border stickers. Now I am going to use these. Oops, I'm going to use these for some of the clothespins, and the, this will be for other projects as well. And then I got these. Uh, these are pretty. I'm also going to put those on. I'm also going to put those on. Uh, my uh clothespin magnets or maybe i don't know 
I might do something. I might take one of those, couple of those, and do something and put them in there. I don't know yet. It just depends how my uh, craft juices are flowing that day. All right, so I'm going to pause this so I can uh, set up the Walmart haul now. And I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm sneaking this in between the two uh, videos, the Dollar Tree video and the Walmart video, because I actually had to redo those videos. Um, so, yeah, this is the um, the tissue cover and the toilet paper um, cover that looks like a little hat. I'm going to be di doing different styles and whatnot. And they're not done yet because I haven't put the embellishments on them yet. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet. So, I don't know yet if I'm going to put, like, because I do have some huge buttons. I don't know if I'm going to do a big button on there. I want you to know what you think of the color because I'm trying to make them, like, um, a little bit summery. But also, if you're somebody that um, puts things out for, like, occasions, Christmas, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Thanksgiving, this would be great for um, Easter time. Uh, so, let me know what you think. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Round two. This is what I got from Walmart. I got yarns. I got a multicolored one here. Uh, I don't like the way this light is. Sorry, guys. I already have a bunch of yarn, but like I said, this is for yarn projects that I'm going to be making. This, you can't really tell, but this is like a coral color. I think it's called persimmon, but it looks coral to me. So I'm going to call it coral. Lilac. And this is uh, minty, minty, men, mentholate, mental, I don't know, minty, green. And I got Mod Podge because I needed some more of that. Now these paints, guys, they're on sale. Some of them were 50 cents and some of them were um, 97 cents. So I took advantage of the price. I have some antique colors here, like an antique white, a parchment color for backgrounds. This is a coffee latte. Um, this is, oh, royal violet. Ah, yep. Antique parchment. Lilac. Bahama Blue, and Tuscan Teal, and Pink Eraser. So, those are the paints. And then I got, I don't know if you can see it, Sparkly Tape. Some of these are going to, this tape might be for some of my um, magnets. Two of those. A lot of them I'm just going to paint with either paint or nail polish and embellish them. Uh, I got buttons. I want to get some, here's some more buttons. I want to get some dollar store mirrors and embellish them, the small ones, but they didn't have any. Because I wanted to like make sets and they didn't have any shelves either. So, And I got kitten caboodle kitties. They're so cute, they're going on. Those. I got two different size magnets, even though I know I already had magnets, but I said I better get some more. These are the bigger ones. And then I got the smaller ones. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to need two magnets, because I don't want them falling off the fridge on people. There's nothing worse than that. Here we have some more um, adhesive gems. I'm gonna, Like I said, I'm going to be using the glue with them. Self-adhesive pearls. I like that. That's like antique -y. It's like, I, I feel like it's rose gold, not just gold. And I also have some Glitter Heart foam, foam stickers. So, and then I got some more brushes here. Some Gorilla Glue sticks. Uh, my birdhouse uh, wind chimes that I'm going to be... Um, making uh, projects with 
I think I even have some birds, little birds around here to embellish them. And then I bought this little case to organize some stuff with. I'm actually, I don't know if I said it already, I'm going to be turning part of my living room into um, um, where I'm going to do all my crafts because I really don't use that part anyway. So, <sighs> the collect junk over there. So, what the heck. And then I got two of these cute little butterflies. Don't know if they're going to be magnets yet or am I going to do them wall hangings. And then I got this <coughs> cute little love sign because I bought this. This was a dollar and the love was a dollar. I'm thinking I'm going to put the paint it and then I'm just and I'm going to paint the love and I'm going to put it on there like that. And then I got two of these rectangular frames four by six so like i said i'm thinking um doing like the beachy thing with one of those so i don't know yet we're gonna see how that um because honestly i really i have this um beautiful bahama blue so that might be a good project for that one i'm not sure yet i want to do something antique -y with this one so i'm thinking Maybe coffee latte for like this little trim and then doing the antique and maybe, yeah, maybe coffee latte for that part too. I don't know yet. It all depends on what happens when I sit down to do my crafts. Anyways, guys, um, that's my haul from the Walmart store for today uh, for my craft projects. So don't forget, let me know what you think about um, the... Um, toilet paper and uh, tissue covers and give me a thumbs up leave a comment and everybody have a great day bye